Hello, I'm Naomi and I'm going to show you two books about the same little girl. This is Milla. Both books are inspired by the same girl, Milla, described as a sassy little spitfire with an infectious laugh. The two books have very different purposes despite featuring Milla as the main character. I'll tell you a little bit about each of the two books and what I like and don't like about each. Miller Gets Her Super Ears is a journey as, they, uh, as Miller and her family navigate the world of hearing loss, hearing aids and cochlear implants. Written by Teacher of the Deaf Ashley Machovic and illustrated by Megan Jansen. The story starts with Miller's birth and her diagnosis of, of a profound hearing loss through newborn hearing screening. We learn a bit about the medical um, process of diagnosing hearing loss in babies. Miller gets her first hearing aids and is clearly enjoying sound through her hearing aids. We learn about some of the support that Miller's family and Miller herself um, receive both from the teacher of the deaf and from the speech and language therapist. After starting school, Miller notices that she is not hearing as well as she had before. Assessment shows that her hearing has changed and a new hearing aid, a new hope is offered. Miller's family are told about a new hope, wonderful magic super ears cochlear implants. Miller goes through surgery to get her cochlear implants fitted and is clearly very hopeful of hearing more. Switch on day comes and Miller's cochlear implants get, start to give her sound. Miller's very excited but notes that it sounds very different. Miller explains that she needed therapy and lots of practice to make sense of the new sounds coming through her implants. Miller's really proud and feels empowered by being able to make sense of sound like others around her. This is a clear, bright book with friendly illustrations explaining the process of getting cochlear implants. The use of Miller speaking in the first person gives the book immediacy and friendliness. However, I found it really hard that the whole focus is on needing to hear. There was no feeling that there were other options. This is a book with a real focus on speech and listening. The story is quite medicalised. It's about what Miller doesn't have rather than what she does have and the alternative communication methods are not explored. For families where the child has made good progress with hearing aids but hearing aids are simply not giving them the sound that they want, I think this book gives, it is really positive and gives it a clear pathway. So I was really excited when I saw on the cover of Miller Grows Up the, the sign language, I love you hand. So now we meet Miller and her family. There is a focus on Miller's use of cochlear implants. However, this is a book that shows us about her family and how she's a normal little girl. This book is about how Miller is fighting for her independence and her confidence is growing. She tells us all the things that she can do and the things she can be and how she has decided to do everything and does not need help. We see her playing with her brother and sister and really having fun. We really see this imaginative creative child. Then Miller is challenged to do something she has never done before and something she doesn't know how to do without help.
This is where she learns the importance of asking help and sees that her older brother asks for help and that with help she can do it too. There's a real sense of the family working together and learning together and of family love. Nadia Sorel's illustrations make this book pop with life. There's so much expression in the faces. This book has also been written with lots of opportunities to talk and use language uh, while sharing it with the child and use sounds like the crunch crunch. What I don't like is that there is such a focus on spoken language and the only acknowledgement of signs language and non-spoken um, non language is the symbol on Miller's t-shirt. This is American Sign Language shorthand for I love you. I think this book has been designed as a, f a book to be used within families with a deaf child. This is a book designed for reading together and for enjoying as a family. I think Miller is mighty. She has got so much personality brought out through the illustrations in both books. Mighty Miller is my favourite of the two books because it is not at the life story of um, finding out that your child is deaf. This is about an amazing little girl. An amazing little girl with cochlear implants. It is unusual for two books about the same character to be both written and illustrated by, by different people. But I think it really works. There's a real sense of Miller as a person and there's a unity across the two books, even with the very different art style. So, is Miller good representation? She's sparky, she's bright, she's a character that children can relate to and see, see themselves in. That's good representation. We need rich, diverse representations of how many different ways there are to be a deaf girl. Deaf children and hearing children need to see a diverse range of representation of different ways to be deaf, all valued and seen as valid. And that's why I'm doing these picture book reviews and reviews of children's books. Please, if you'd like to hear more, remember to like, comment and subscribe and tell me any books you'd like to see reviewed. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.